Hi Soul Bites. My name is Sonali Krunaratna, your host of Soul Vitamins The Talk Show, my show dedicated to empowering creatives and entrepreneurs. I'm back at the Lobby Jacks for another incredible event today. It's the It's a Beautiful Day to Be Black pop-up event. There's so many amazing artists and vendors here today that are showcasing their businesses. So I really want to take you guys through the event and also talk to a few of the vendors that are here today. So the whole idea behind this event is to showcase a lot of small owned black businesses locally here in Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm really excited for you to meet the different vendors and let's go inside. Hi Soul Bites, I'm with these three amazing guys who started the clothing brand Avance and they're going to tell you a little bit about how they were inspired to start their clothing line and of course what their Soul Vitamins are. So who wants to kick it off? Berlin? I'll do it. What's going on everybody? It's Berlin from Avance and we're here to dive in a little bit deeper where Avance is starting and it, where it's going. How did, were you guys inspired to start the brand? Where did the idea come from and what's the name mean? Tell us a little bit about that. So uh, it all started with us in Cleveland, my boy Dre, um, he came up with the name of the brand and we just brought it to life. Um, at first we were getting it done by other people, but then we decided that we wanted to do our own thing and uh, learn how to embroider it ourselves and learn how to make clothes ourselves so we can establish something greater. The meaning of Alma say it's a French word, so it's an acronym or an adjective you can use for moving forward or keep going or just keep striving what you got going on. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to not only expose a little bit more about the French language, but also give people a message. Like, let them know, like, whatever you got going on, whatever you're going through, like, you still got to move forward. So that's why we want to make pieces and garments and just to empower the people that support our movement. Yeah, we just want to be, um, like, innovators in the fashion industry, for real. So, like, we want to be the Elon Musk of fashion. We want to be... Jeff Bezos, the fashion and stuff like that. Like, we just want to be, want to move into the future with our name, like what our name means, moving forward. So we want to innovate, get better, and then come up with some stuff that don't even look like clothes almost, you know what I'm saying? Part of Soul Vitamins too is for empowering creatives and entrepreneurs as well. So I love what you said about that being a main mission of Avance too. So, final question, what we're going to do is your Soul Vitamin. So this is something that makes your soul feel inspired and nourished. So what you're passionate about, what drives you, what lights you up? What inspires me is family, uh, history. For me, I would say the biggest motivation or inspiration for me is just innovation. Being creative and really seeing where your limits are. Kind of like what he said, like family. Um, and then definitely just trying to like, like push the limit on like what we can do or how far we can take a piece of clothing. So inspiring. You guys are amazing. I love what you're doing with the brand. Do you want to share kind of how people can keep in touch with you, how they can get your products? If you have an Instagram, you can reach out to, reach out to us at ABCR, ABCR. So that's literally ABCR twice, back to back. We also have a website as well, which is ABCRmoving.net, which is a website. You can go on to it. We have a gallery. You can contact us. We also have pieces available, which you don't see here. So those are a simple, a few of the outlets that we have that you can keep in contact. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to be snagging my shirt right now. Hi Soul Bites, I am here with this lovely woman, Jessie, who is about to give me a tattoo while I interview her about her own tattoo business. So she's going to talk to you about why she was inspired to be a tattoo artist and then let you know what her Soul Vitamin is. So wish me luck at Jessie. I'll turn it over to you. So what made you want to be a tattoo artist? 
Um, I've always been super um, interested in art creating. Um, I'm a painter. I'm just an all-around artist, creative. Um, it's been, I would say, yeah, I do a lot of just artistic things in general. Um, it's something that I've always kind of like manifested for myself. Like when I was in high school, I used to draw on my friends and I used to draw like Sharpie sleeves on myself and like it just was always just like a matter of time before I like got into it. So I eventually got an apprenticeship and that was just like, that was the start of it. That was where I began and I'm, I've been doing it for two years now. So That's amazing. It's been an amazing journey. Um, it's a learning process. I really love that about tattooing. Um, yeah. So that's really, that's how I got into it. Just kind of like, I've always, I've always just been, I've created art, tattoo designs for my friends over the years. Um, and I was like, if I'm going to keep drawing them, I might as well do the tattoos too. Right, so I was right. like, let me go ahead and get my license. I got an apprenticeship um, out in St. Pete with an um, artist named Tito. And he taught me and he gave me the opportunity to tattoo. So I've just been getting to it ever since. And it must Ever be since. so incredible to design a tattoo that's going to be on someone like forever. I mean, that's super special. And yeah. It's incredible that you're able to like kind of do your artistic side with the tattoo artist. That's I it, it definitely is. It's nerve wracking at the same time <laughs> because it's like this is going to be on this person forever. Yes. Um, but it, it's no it's, pressure. I'm gonna say yeah, it's <laughs> it's nice though because you know people trust me with that. I have people who come from far to get tattooed by me and it's just like uh, it's nice to have an impact on people and that's it lasts a lifetime so it's like yeah. I thoroughly enjoy it that's incredible I well, really do thank you for sharing that yeah for sure and the next question I like to ask is I love to hear about how people are inspired like what drives them what lights them up and I call that a soul button so what makes your soul feel nourished and inspired um I would say, uh, I don't know, it's what makes me feel nourished and inspired. I guess just like, just living, I feel like I'm inspired by everything around me. Like whatever I do is like the embodiment of who I am. So I guess that's what like keeps me inspired. I just like to express myself. I just like to express myself. I feel like, like being able to create, it really helps with like my mental health type deal. So like. That's just like, it just goes hand in hand. So that, just being able to express myself, that's what inspires me. Being able to share me with the world in the way that I know how, that's it. I love that. That's it. Well, thank you so much, Jessie, for sharing your story with us. And wish me luck, Soul Bites. About to get this tattoo. Hi Soul Bites, I'm here with Talia Lee who is the founder of It's a Beautiful Day to be Black and she's going to tell you a little bit about her idea behind this black pop-up event and also her company. Take it away. So basically the idea behind the It's a Beautiful Day to be Black pop-up, I just wanted to create a space, a unique space, a never before experienced space for the black people and black business owners in Jacksonville to really be celebrated and highlighted. So I wanted them to, of course, reap the benefits of their hard work and their creativity and everything, but I really wanted them to be celebrated. Hence the venue, you know, I really want to thank the lobby as well because they really provided a unique space for us to just party and really be celebrated in while at the same time, you know, making some sales and really increasing their brand awareness. But behind It's a Beautiful Day to be Black, I really just wanted to create a positive saying behind being black and just being celebrated. I have this theory that being black is almost like being a part of an exclusive club. You know what I mean? So I just want it to be celebrated, you know what yes. I mean? And highlighted and appreciated. So that's why I created It's a Beautiful Day to be Black, especially in the light of so much negativity and social injustice. I really just wanted to throw my bit and my spin of positivity in on being black. So. That is 
so amazing and the event is incredible. What's so amazing, like you were saying, it brings together so many different businesses and, and creatives together to collaborate. Like all the vendors here have been talking, like thinking about what they could do together. So you created that space and that's amazing. Thank so thank you, so you. Thank you and thank you for coming too. I yes. really appreciate it. Anytime I can get the message out, my own message, as well as provide an opportunity for other people, that's all that means to me. Yes. It means I love that. Thank you. So how are you inspired to start your clothing line? Honestly, I started this clothing line in 2018. I dropped the regular slogan, it's a beautiful day to be black tees. And it was only like a limited edition of them. You know, it was like a, a run of 50. And I just snatched them out. And then I think I was wearing mine in public one time. And a guy was like, he pointed at me, he's like, you know what? It is a beautiful day to be black. And I'm like, it is. And I just, I just wanted to reintroduce that. Especially in the light of George Floyd, that's what really inspired me to just push the brand out. And I started with just t-shirts. I wanted to be able to donate and give back to the Black Lives Matter movement and fund that so that we can continue fighting. And I did a jacket and then it just caught fire. So I can't explain how grateful I am for the opportunity to be able to create something that people can stick to. Yes. And I just, I can't wait for it to be even bigger than this. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so incredible that you weaved in social justice with your passion of, of clothing line. Because I think whenever you have a company that has like such a powerful meaning behind it, it, it goes such a long way. So I'm super excited for you and I'm excited to see where the line goes. Thank you so much. <laughs> so last question, tell the Vites what your soul vitamin is. So what inspires, what nourishes and drives you? Honestly, my love for visuals and design. I mean, anything that I can get my hands on designing, whether it's sketching or drawing, creating, you know, aesthetically pleasing things to the eye. If I can mix my purpose and the things that drive me with my love for design, it just, it makes, that's what makes me happy. That's why I keep going. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you again for throwing such a killer event. And yes, it was great meeting you. Thank you, thank you all so much for watching this segment of Soul Vitamins where we featured the It's a Beautiful Day to be Black pop-up event at the Lobby Jacks. Special thanks to the Lobby Jacks for hosting us. This is such an incredible creative space. It really brings together so many different creatives and entrepreneurs where they're able to work together, collaborate, and really build a creative community here. So really excited to see where this goes and what the future events that the Lobby has. If you like hearing about different stories of creatives and entrepreneurs, and you need a little inspiration or guidance on your own creative journeys, then definitely check out the other episodes we have this season of Soul Vitamins on the Soul Vitamins YouTube channel. And follow along with Soul Vitamins underscore on Instagram for more info and updates to season one.